101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. Keep it with your host, Christopher Boyd. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Let's start a one-on-one magazine podcast here back on iHeartRadio. Thank you, guys. Once again, you have been successfully and consistently tapping into what we do. You like how we are featuring the prominent and up most talented individuals out here doing great things in the world. And today, we will not disappoint. I got my guy, BJ, the Choreo King in the building. The King is here. The King is here. The King is here. The King is here, man. What's, What's up, up, man? man? What's up, man? I'm good. I'm good, brother. It's good to see you. Good to hear you, man. Uh, yeah, lots going on. It's the new year. Um, the, the days is flying by. Uh, as you know, and I know, time is moving. Time is ticking. We want to talk about some stuff that you got come on, get into your world a little bit. I'd like to start off with some upcoming projects of yours. Uh, if you can kind of get us up to speed, BJ, I know you do a lot of work. You're doing a lot of things yeah. on some upcoming projects that you got in the queue. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, what I want to, um, what I'm focusing on for 2024 is um, I did write my first screen um, uh, movie. Uh, it's a dance movie, but it's a life movie. It's called Bust Down. So that is my main, not my biggest thing right now this year. Um, getting that into production because you know to develop a movie, me, me, me being an actor and all that, it's it's a different feel when you are the one that's actually writing for these characters and actually putting things together. So this right here is a big thing for me. So this is my biggest project um, for 2024. Uh, so yeah, and then, you know, my music and stuff too, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. When that movie, is that coming up to probably end of the year, you think, and what, what's the process of that? Is anybody um, else? Yeah. I wanna, I wanna, I know with 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 movies they say movies or some anything like that that's like it's like a baby you got to treat it like a baby yep. so I don't want to rush it mm-hmm. but I am hoping that I can at least I can at least have um um a premiere or a pre premiere or something by the end of the year but I'm you know that's just things crossing open and all of that so yeah that's what's up <laughs> and we know uh, literally man you're passionate about. The, and my audience is basically a chance to hear from you live in the flesh. You're passionate about the arts, uh, dancing, yeah. singing. And of course, we just touched upon acting. That's a new bag that you're getting into. But you're known mostly uh, for that music, man, for that dancing and singing. Uh, yeah. What's going on on the, on the art side, collectively, the dancing side? Is anything developments that we can keep our eye on uh, in that world as well? Absolutely. I'm, um, I was... Being that, you know, being that we are in the month of February and being that February is Black History Month, I am going to be doing a very, very powerful um, um, dance presentation. Um, I got I got a few uh, people that I'm going to be um, partnering with um, and we're just going to make it happen. So that right there is that's something to definitely look out for. We're going to be doing that and it's going to be airing when it's going to we're going to release it at the end of um at the end of February. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'm also working, I I wasn't sure what direction I was gonna go as far as getting back in with um, like the dance thing, but I did, I am mentoring um, a couple of dance companies right now. So, you know, just, just doing that and mentoring through the arts is what I say. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been in the business. Yeah, I've been in the business for, for uh, quite some time. And yeah. sometimes you can get caught up in the business side of it versus getting versus staying with Mm -hmm. why your purpose nice nice no no mental um mental illness and a lot of these topics that a lot of these artists really don't touch upon it uh you you, there's a different layer to you bj and i know this you know this but you do you're, you're big on community work all right. I want to touch upon yeah. that a little bit. Uh, mental, mental illness, that whole awareness, that whole arena. Uh, why does that matter to you? Um, it, it, it matters to me because um, I am I am an open book. So I just want people to know um, I myself deal with mental illness, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, anxiety, uh, depression at times and whatnot, you know, and when, coming from where I came from, I just want to let others know that it's okay mm. to not be okay. 
And that's where, especially as, as us men, as us men being that we're supposed to be strong and the one to always hold it together, mm-hmm. sometimes we do weak moments and it's okay to not be okay. Mm. That's what, that's what, that's the biggest thing for me. I just want to be that vessel for others to just know like, okay, you know, we can't hold it together every day, every single moment of our life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do have those weak moments and sometimes we have to allow us to have those weak moments. Absolutely. And I could definitely relate. You and I know we're talking about being black African American males in this new world that we live in. There's a lot of pressure. Right. And a lot has put us on us. And there is times, like you said, where you don't feel 100 percent yourself. And uh, for you, brother, can you give me some of those outlets? What help you uh, literally get through those type of adversities when life literally is life? Right. We all go through it. But um, what helps you get through those adversities? Is there an outlet that you do? Is there exercise that you do? Is there people you're around? What what works for PJ? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, uh, First. I, I have to surround myself with positive people mm-hmm. because without the positivity, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy to just give up. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? It's hard to keep going. So I just, I just keep in mind that I do have those people that is there for me, that cares for me. Um, ultimately I have three beautiful boys. So I, I have to grind and I, every day I mm-hmm. get up and I go for them. Um, but, but ultimately my outlet, especially growing up, in in a uh, you know in a small town called Rialto, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? My people stand up, but um, growing up in that, it wasn't much. It wasn't much. So my outlet was dance and uh, sing, and music, and you know what I mean. So um, that was that was the thing. We were just I was just having a conversation not too long ago about you know parties and and things like that, and what we used to do as kids growing up to mm-hmm. actually make. You know, so I keep those things with me, those little gems. So, you know, mm-hmm. when I am, when I'm not feeling good, when I'm, you know, whatever, I'm going to go to what I know. And that is music, dance, mm-hmm. mentoring. And that's ultimately what keeps me going. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that, that, that vulnerable moment. We need that. We need that honest dialogue, bro, is what I call it. Can we be honest? <laughs> yeah, I don't, it's okay for me not to, to say, I don't feel okay today. Right. And, and don't punish me yeah. and ridicule me for that. Right. I'm human. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot yeah. of what you do as well too, brother. And I love this. Um, you big on the uh, community, right? Can you yeah. give me uh, some yeah. insight on the community developments on your side? Some things that you're advocating for some things that you're behind uh, to do your best part in this society. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I've, I've, um, because like I said, you know, me growing up in the Inland Empire and, um, in the area that I grew up in, I was really big on like, I want to give back. So Mm -hmm. I opened, um, I opened my first dance studio in, in the city of Colton, California. And, um, it was a small building. It was, Mm -hmm. you know, 400 square feet or whatnot. Um, but I wanted to, I really wanted to do that because I'm, I was one of those that us coming up and growing up, we didn't have all of the um, resources and all that that we have today. Mm -hmm. So when I opened my studio, I said, I'm going to open my studio and I'm going to give every single resource that I possibly can. Mm -hmm. And I know I can't do it all because it's just me, but uh, give every single, you know, and, and, and like that, that mentor, that mentor part just stuck on. So, mm. me, yeah, me being big in the community is is just basically, um, it's it fueled from my childhood. Nice. So you know, youth and working with the youth, and it's like if I can give you one more thing that I couldn't get as a child because of my circumstance or my situation, mm-hmm. that there is it. You know what I mean? Like that uh-huh. right there. And, you know. So I'm just the community. Um, I've I've um. I'm I'm with this uh I'm with this 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 uh group awesome group called um Young Power Foundation mm-hmm. easy group I love these people that I work with um we've we've uh, done we've done toy drives where we've given oh we was given we had enough toys to give away to the community for an entire week wow big we've, uh, we've done turkey drives where we've given away 130 turkeys in an hour. My so, goodness. <laughs> so big. We're so big on the community. It's just mm. crazy because without a community, what do you have really? Oh, mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So 
That's just it, what it is. Without a community, what really do you have? So I'm just big. I'm so big on the community, period. That And that's that's what it is because ultimately I grew up in the community. Mm. And unfortunately, but fortunately, the community that I grew up in wasn't the best. Right. So if I can do anything to, uh, if I could do anything to just show different, give different, you know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. That's that's just what I'm gonna do. I love that, man. I really do, man. How big are you on networking and uh, expanding your brand? A lot of people don't know the value in that, bro. I think uh, we in a networking era, digital era, things are uh, different, right? Communication and different. Branding is different. Everything is a little different. For you, how do you navigate uh, in this industry, man? Um, Because you got literally... Uh, uh, a reputation about yourself and you know a lot of people who ain't yeah. got such a clean reputation they want to yeah. get next to people like yourself so they can look good <laughs> so I, yeah, you know what i'm talking about here like i said there's a lot of vultures out here brother like um yeah. you know they, they try to pin people against people and you know they try to get in these crowds and, and, and for right. you you have this great image you have this great brand it's clean it's good it's positive um yes. are you intentional in who you network with who you build with who you reach out to to like how does bj navigate in this new industry that we have oh man I, um um i feel i go off of energies so mm-hmm. i feel you know because sometimes you have to have some kind of component you have to have something that will speak to your inner self that will let you know, like, hey, you can't work with everybody. Everybody sitting at the table with you don't mean they're going to eat. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. like how you said, there are people that will use your name mm-hmm. just to get where they need to get, you know? So I just I just stay aware. I stay mm-hmm. humble. Um, ultimately, I'm, I'm very, I got, I'm very faith, faithful. You know what I'm saying? I'm very, I, I got a, a spiritual background and all that. So I just stay on that. Exactly. Um, yeah, because I've actually been I've been in the business for, uh, for a while. And you know what I mean? It's just I know how it can be and I know where it can take a person if mm-hmm. you are grounded in your faith. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we and we put in countless amount of hours. A lot of people don't know <laughs> what we do, how we do. It takes a special kind of people, a person. Uh, to get into uh, this arena, this public arena, yeah. right? We are in this yeah. public arena. Our face is always out there. Uh, people is always watching us. It's not easy doing what we do. Uh, yeah. That grind, that constant grind, we're putting in more than eight hours in a typical person in the workday. Yeah. Uh, when you invest it into you like you do, and I know you can relate to this, you put yeah. in a lot of hours, a lot yeah. of hours. <laughs> yeah. So that grind yeah. has to be up, right? And it's up for a reason, but there's a reason why we stay up this late. There's a reason why we do what we do. Our yeah. children, our children, you yeah. alluded to this Thank early, you. brother, and I want to touch upon this for you, uh, that why, um, that grind that we put in, uh, are, are you strategically wanting them to understand and see and witness what it takes to create generational wealth, to create an outlet for yourself, to be in charge of your own future, not rely upon anything else? Does that play oh, a factor into you? Yes. Oh, yes. 100. Like yeah. 100. You know what I mean? Because nothing was really handed to me. So me coming up and me um, I'm doing what I'm doing. I Like I said, I, I'm doing this solely to, to um, like you said, I'm, I'm building and I'm trying to create this legacy mm-hmm. for my boys. You know what I'm saying? And um, just letting them know that, yes, business is business, but it's not going to be as easy as, or as, as simple as you think it's going to be. You can't mm-hmm. just wake up and then be this person, this, you know, um, and it's funny because one of one of my boys actually asked me, like, he, you know, um, I, I, I don't know if you can see in the back, it's kind of snow, but start a magazine one on one for uh, real quick. I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> so much, you know what I'm saying, for me. Um, but yeah, just, you know, um, my, my son saw the, 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 uh, the front cover of the magazine. So, yeah, like, so that are you. Hey, are you famous? Are you, you know, <laughs> for him. Yeah. And I'm, not, I'm not famous because the next person can be where I'm at. It just takes hard work Absolutely. and patience. Mm. That's what I in there, patience, because a lot of artists, especially because I've done some artist development work too, while I work with upcoming artists. Yeah. And it's not easy. It's not easy to be. You know, you like, okay, I've been doing this for six months now. I've been doing it for a year. Why well, I ain't got that hit yet? <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything is timing, too. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to be 
diligent. We got to stay diligent. And uh, that patient part of it is is super big. Absolutely, bro. I appreciate that, man. Last but not least, BJ, I appreciate you, bro. Uh, what's the best way, uh, and I know this and you know this, but let's plug your platforms, your channels. Uh, I know you're working on some other things as well, too. Uh, what's the best way for the people to stay locked, keep it locked into what you do, your world? Uh, is there Instagram, yeah. YouTube? How, how can they keep it locked in? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, for those out there, you can lock, you can stay locked. In. I'm on Instagram, BJ the Choreo King. I'm going to spell that. That's B as in boy, J as in Jack. C H O R E O K I N G. BJ the Choreo King. That's Instagram. You can find me on YouTube. My YouTube channel is BJ the Choreo King. Facebook, BJ the Choreo King. I do got an um, artist page. Um, so, yeah, I'm all over the place. My music is all over the place. Um, um, I mean, you name it, Apple Music, um, Spotify, um, Deezer, all major platforms, music is there. Um, I'm also going to be shooting a music video um, within the next few weeks on one of my singles. Um, it's a cover. It's called Successful. Um, and, uh, yeah, we just, what well, we out here working, and we just continue to do what we do as artists and yeah. creators. And that's just what it is. And, um like I said, I know today is Grammy. Um, today is the Grammy. So, like I said, uh, again, I want to thank Stardom One on One Magazine. You guys have really, you guys don't know how much of a blessing you've been to me because, wow. um, I mean, yeah, because I was, you know, it, it was it was a point where I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, came across, I came across you guys, and then I'm like, I'm. You, you guys just, I'm there. I'm, I'm tapped in. Just let me know what I need to do. And we and we're there. But um, if I could just plug in, if I could just shout out um, um, one of my one of my uh, people, I grew up with him too. Um, mm -hmm. we, we did, we did music together. So I'm just super duper duper proud of this person. Mm -hmm. um, He's been nominated for um, for the producer of the year at the Grammys this evening uh, today. Mm. Um, Hit boy. Hit oh yeah. Boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's you know what I mean. That's 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 man. We real close. We tapped in. We family. So go ahead, take that deck, take that award home, man. That's we, what's we need up. To get, we need to get that, you know. So that's what it is, man. And I just like I said, I just appreciate y'all for doing what y'all do and you guys have set a platform for people to really for the artists i can't say people mm -hmm. you, you guys have set a platform for these artists to really shine and that's, that's what's what up. I that's what's up man it's bj the choreo king y'all make sure you keep it locked my guy got upcoming movies he got the upcoming single he got the upcoming yeah. music like i said yeah. we just chopping it up i just want y'all to get a chance to tap into this world man tap into this artist get an authentic understanding of who you guys are streaming a lot of times you streaming yeah. people and supporting people but you don't know the person you feel me you yeah. don't know the person and so this platform and this podcast was to get an opportunity for the fans to get to know who are they supporting? Who are these people that we support and we stream and supporting? And my guy BJ is the literally epitome of what we call on the rise to stardom. He's doing amazing yeah. things, not only in the industry, but in real life. And that yes. to me is what counts the most. BJ, it's been a pleasure, brother. I appreciate you. You know we locked in. Uh, literally, 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 anytime uh, you need us, I need you. You know what it is. We phone call, phone call away, brother. It's Starter Magazine, Heart Radio, my God, BJ the King. Y'all know what we do. We do the same week. Stay yes, tuned for sir. another dope episode. Until next time, as always, love, guys. Peace. Peace. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, Get featured in the next issue of Stardom 101 Magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804-550-8647 or visit stardom101mag.net. You're listening to the Stardom 101 Magazine podcast with Christopher Boykin. Be sure to subscribe and download this episode and continue to listen to Stardom on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.